This is the Transformers Masterpiece Destron Laser Wave by Takara Tomy, or otherwise known as the Masterpiece Shockwave. And I am so glad I waited for the Takara Tomy version instead of buying third party products because this thing is absolutely beast. I mean, it is so, it is the. <laughs> Suffice to say, I, I think, you know, Takara Tomy by far, always uh, will do a better job than the third party manufacturers. That's just my opinion. I know some of you like the Quake Wave. I know some of you like the other you know, shock waves that are out there, but I do love this one. This one just evokes a lot of nostalgia for G1 and the 80s Transformers. He is not without his flaws, but uh, as he is, he is so freaking awesome. All right, cool. He. He's holding himself, if you notice. Uh, miniature version of the shockwave. Here is the uh, booklet, Laser Vulcan. And there was a scene, it's a nice set of instructions, very detailed. And somebody tell me which episode this was. I, I can't seem to remember. He has, he's holding his own, a replica of himself or something like that. A laser Vulcan barrel and hand and the backpack the backpack even this one uh, this one is like when he's waiting for the space bridge so okay I got that he needs a backpack uh, other than that that's that he also comes with a nice set of decals or stickers I haven't actually applied it but I don't I don't feel the need to uh, because I'm gonna keep this one in packaging here is the trading card and here is the box very cool, very cool standard masterpiece box. A little bit smaller than an Optimus Prime or Megatron, I suppose. Okay, and again, he comes with all these set of extra hands. If you feel like you need to give him matching clear hands, just like the toy or whatever, or uh, you could give him matching uh, opaque hands. That's fine too. Or you could give him both both hands, which I this I don't think this ever happened in the cartoon that he, or the toy that he's got two complete fists. I only I know his left hand has always been the the blaster. This is cartoon accurate. This one is toy accurate. So it's really up to you. Or if you have him saluting Megatron. with I don't have mp5 so what I do have is our Apollyon I have the combiner horseman good height good enough height okay. and then with the other Megatron suck up sound wave yeah now he looks short uh, with sound wave okay. Get these guys out All right, so I think you know, I like him with the clear hands, the clear bits, but you know, what's nice about this gun is you can have Megatron hold him. If you have, uh, if you have other figures, you can, like Soundwave, you can make him hold this or Starscream. That's great. Oh, sorry, we'll use this one. Since this is the more, to me, it's more accurate this way. Uh, cartoon accurate. Or this one is toy accurate, so we'll do a mix. How about that? Now, his special gimmick. Battery is not included. Uh, so if you're keeping this one MOC or mint in box, you don't have to worry about the batteries leaking. You don't want, you don't want it to leak or anything like that. You press this button and, he's, and his left arm glows. It just stops on its own and then his uh the, the whole gun we'll show that off later how, they, how it lights up so 
transform him. Oh wait, sorry, paint apps. The purple looks great. The purple and the gray just really, really look great. Very, very G1. Um, it, it's actually a very periwinkle-ish or wisteria type of purple. Uh, on the camera, it's coming out like a very deep grimace purple or ube purple. Um, but it's really a very light, nice Decepticon purple. He also comes with a removable hose, uh, which is made, actually, I surprise, it was made of this springy, like slinky type of material. It's like a spring, so you can, it's not gonna go have any wear and tear as it, go, it gets bent along the way. That's great. And he has this backpack, uh, which you don't have to, I mean, if you don't, if, you don't, if you're not, if you're okay with him having just this, you can actually just have that. But the backpack is more cartoon accurate uh, than that. That one is fine too. Okay. But this one just completes his whole set. We'll take it off because when we transform him, um, this one is going to act like a stand for the gun. So, like that. So, put that away. Articulation for the figure's got a ball joint in the neck, ratcheting, shoulders, ball hinge elbows, ball jointed wrists. Of the opening fingers, it has a waist swivel, but it makes the the body look very loose. Uh, personally, you know they didn't have to do that. It's actually great that they did, but to me, I'm okay even if you don't. They didn't do that, so just lock it in like that. To me, it looks great. Ball hinge, hips, uh, waist, uh, thigh swivel, ratcheting knee and ratcheting ankles. No ball, no rocker joints, just the ankles. All right, so very, very cool. Let's transform him. Um, raise the arms a bit like that. You do the legs first. Uh, that's, that's the easiest, it's the hardest part. Uh, rotate, rotate, and then detach. This is, yeah, these are, these are actually the, the most tedious parts of the transformation. Go ahead and fold these inward. Like that. Okay. Then fold the. Uh -huh. Is it die cast? Oh, didn't know this part was die cast. Interesting. It is die cast. Wow. Didn't even didn't even notice that. Okay, right there. And this will form obviously the gun, the handle of the gun. Just turn it like that. Okay, and then uh, this is the part of the back side of the gun. You hear that springy sound. <laughs> anyway, uh, go ahead and fold down the head. If you're gonna take it out, it, it it it's kind of a pain if you flip the head out like that. You'll have to you'll have to you'll have to remove the head like that. Don't don't make him look up when you're transforming him to robot mode. So that was a bit of a pain for me. Okay. Do that. It's supposed to just lock in forearms like that just like how he transformed in the cartoon or in the toy no I almost forgot about this hold up that louver or that panel and then this gun come the trigger or the gun comes out okay and then this one tabs in there and then this one this one like this tabs in here Okay. That's essentially the gun. No, I'm kidding. Um, I wanted to show you something first before anything. Um, I wanted to do this so I could... Because if you press this, you get that light going on. And then if you... But this one doesn't light up. So I thought it was just cool if you, if you haven't transformed this way. And then you, you press this. And then you shoot with this. That's a really nice space gun. Okay. Um, I'm going to 
attach this one first. This one. The instructions clearly say do not move this thing side to side. This thing is also made of die cast and I can imagine why because that's where the wires go through to this LED from the battery. This is the battery section and that's the wires connecting and I, and I totally understand why they made it die cast which is a brilliant, brilliant move on the part of Takara Tomy. Very, very nice. Okay, and then just close that in and then he's a space gun. Turn it off. Oh, very, very bright, very, very bright pink. LED, and then finally the um, the stand. How do we do this? Here, and there you go. There is masterpiece shockwave or Destron laser wave in his um, alt mode. Um, I have to say, well done again. Very, very glad I waited for this one. It's very, very nice. If you're really into these Masterpiece Transformers, this is a must-have. Definitely pick it up. It is 10 out of 10 uh, for me. It'll get a 10 out of 10 for me. Incidentally, I picked it up at Our Toys over at Green Hills here in Manila. Um, very, very awesome. So there you go. Uh, the Transformers Masterpiece MP29 Destron Laser Wave or Shockwave by Takara Tomy. Thanks for watching.